In part one of the tutorial, we actually set up M in our local host and also write our first hello world program. We use M Ripple, we did um, um, compile the M program and also use M Reactor to display the M uh, program uh, on, the, uh, on the browser. Now we're going to write something a bit more involved. Um, let's see. So this is going to be our second program. We're going to be talking about the init view and updates as well as the model. So as you know, in a functional programming, everything is a function. So if you are looking at this, this what you are seeing now is all these are functions. One, add, init, view, update, main, all are functions. And that's why we, we call it functional programming. So we want to have, the first thing we want to do is, let's shift this main downwards first. We're going to talk about it a little there. Now let's first import uh, HTML exposing text. And we also want to expose div because we want to display something in a div tag on the HTML page. And we also will import browser. Okay, so we've imported this. So I want to write a function to add two numbers. So I'm going to say add takes two parameters, a and b, a space b and it's equal to, I can indent it and then write uh, returns a plus b, okay? So I've written if our function, one function at this time. We're going to use this function earlier there. So now we want to also write the init method or the init function simply assign value at uh, the initial value of the model. So I'm going to say um, here value is equal to zero. Okay, so here the init function simply assigns the val uh, uh, value zero to the initial, uh, this initial, ver uh, uh, this, this variable uh, value here to be zero. Permit me to just increase the fonts. I think it doesn't respond to speak, uh, to to pinch or expand. I'm gonna go to to code. I'm gonna go to preferences. I'm gonna go to settings. From settings, I'm going to text editor. I'm going to fonts and um, let's try sixteen point six. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So I didn't know, but uh, I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah, it increased. All right. So we have uh, the init function assigns the initial value of the model and the view function. Now the view function is what displays in the HTML page. So that's what you have as a view function. Um, so like you have model view controller, so think of the view functions here like that. So have, it's going to take the model because the model is the data that's going to be displayed and we want to display a div tag. A div tag normally have attributes and have content. The content of this div tag is going to be a text. I'm going to call it your seconds and program. Don't worry if you don't understand all of this for now, I'm going to explain it line by line in the nice part. All right, so we've written the view function. The next function I want to write now is the update function. The update function is simply going to run when the model changes. It's going to take the model and returns the updated model. For now, we are not updating anything. We are not changing anything. So let's just return the existing model. Now, this main function is going to be using a browser. So the browser, uh, the sandbox is a basic function to display or render something in the browser uh, based on the initial value, the view and update. So if something changes, it's able to detect and render. So I'm going to say browser.sandbox and, and then, okay, so here I'm going to give init init and the view view and update. All right, so what's happening here is the browser the sandbox need this right term so that when something changes, first it displays and displays the initial value of the model, uh, it's in it, and then when it displays it on the view, and when something updates, it's going to also update the view as well. So that's like a cycle 
uh, of, of the render view and all that. Alright, so this is your second program. Let's run it. First, let me stop the server from running. So I'm going to first compile it by saying my terminal m make main.m um, m make. So it's going to be lowercase for the make. make. Uh, okay. uh, update model equal to, so I forget this equal sign here. Great. Okay, so let me just clear my console and what's happening? Okay, sorry. S and my console. I'm gonna clear my console and say m make main just m and everything worked fine. Now if we run the m reactor that is gonna open the browser for us, let me close the existing one. So I'm gonna say m reactor. So now we can go to localhost port 8080 and now we have the m reactor console here. And I can go to index and you can see your second program. All I want you to do is to check the, the uh, if you do inspect and you look at the uh, element, you can see the body. Now, if you go to the body, you can see we have a div tag, says your second M program, which is this div tag here. And that is exactly what uh, we have here. For now, we don't have any attribute, for instance, you see KK. Find some S. Uh, this I've not tried this before, but let's just say M make main M. Okay, so there's a syntax error there. Um, so come on, S. So this does not work. Um, yeah, so so let's talk about this a little bit a little, because attributes have to be messages. Okay, so we have our second M program running. So what I would like you to do is try to modify this text and then uh, try to see that it works as well for you. All right, so we've written our second program and it's working perfectly well. Now let's talk about generating the JavaScript code. Now, if you go to the, to the index page and right click and say view source, you can see a whole lot of JavaScript code generated here. So, but this you don't have to worry about. Uh, it's just a whole lot of JavaScript. So it's kind of generating the 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 the, the script or code for your application, uh, complete application, so you can run it elsewhere. Okay. So we also talk about generating JavaScript code, and that's what you've seen. But if you want to save this code to a file, you can also use a command. If I go back here. Uh, you can just specify the output. So I'm going to play my console. Say m make main dot m and say that's just output and specify the name of the file you want to uh, uh, place it. So I'm going to say output.js. Now you can see that the JavaScript file is produced here. You can see a whole lot of functions. Uh, everything here is just functions. Uh, but I'm not sure we have any business with this. All right, so this is the much we can take for this part. And the next part will be understanding model view and update. That's going to be the next part. And I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And also leave me a comment if you find this to be informative for you.